Hi friends, today we have the lesson number 12 of the Options Are Easy series, and it's time to talk about a very important topic – Delta Hedging. I would like to demonstrate the whole procedure, from opening a position to launching the Delta Hedging robot, so that you can do it yourself. I advise you to watch the video till the end, otherwise you will not understand anything. Let's choose the basic asset first, Ether Futures will do. I open the Ether Futures Options board. I choose a near-term series that expires in a week. I suggest we start with the options we will be selling. For example, call options 1950 minus 100 contracts. You can already see the result on the chart. And let's also sell put options of strike 1850 100 contracts. In the end, we have this construction. We could have sell only call options, that would have been easier. The robots will place the orders, trades will be made, and you will see everything clearly. Let's assume we expect volatility to not rise, and the cost of the delta hedging robot will be low. Strike 1950 options have a stock volatility of 37 and a half. We sell the 1950 strike options and immediately activate the delta hedging. We expect the delta hedge to be cheap because volatility is 15 here. 10, so pretty low. On the 60 minute scale volatility is not high either. 25, 37. Therefore we can effectively manage the delta hedge and make a profit. At least that's what we expect. We can open the tab, which I call a glass, and sell 100 contracts. The sale has taken place. Here you can see the executed order of selling 100 Ether options at strike 1950. In this window you can see that the sale indeed happened. Now let's open the window with positions. Here too, the delta we need is displayed. I will make the window wider, so that you can see it better. Now let's see the delta. The delta is negative, minus 31.50, so what do we do next? Now we can create a delta hedger. This robot will support a delta neutral strategy. Here, take a look. Now the strategy looks like this. Here you can see the negative delta. In the bots window, select new bot. The delta hedger opens automatically. If you need another strategy, choose another robot. Let's call it ETH delta hedger. Name is absolutely necessary, so that we know and see what trades and orders the robot makes. Now we drag it with the mouse like this and move it to the Ether futures. Now we have to choose which curve we will use for delta hedging. I choose the default stock curve. Now we need to choose the delta price. There are two options, last and spread. I choose spread. Next I choose the delta hedging range. Minus 3 is the minimum value and plus 3 is the maximum value. Now I need to determine minimum and maximum shares. I will choose a minimum value of 2. So the delta hedger will maintain a delta range of minus 3 to plus 3 with a minimum futures order size of 2. The maximum one should be 20. Timeout, i.e. the lifetime of the order, I will leave 3 seconds. If the order is not executed within 3 seconds, it will be removed and new order will be placed. Note that by clicking on the button information, key I, you will get detailed information on all variables of your bot. The count line is the maximum number of trade orders. I don't need it. I don't need delta last. This line tracks strong gaps and stops. The line indent is the depth of the pit in which the price appears, at which it is necessary to place orders. I will put for example 50. Current delta is the delta value of our position. This delta will be hedged by the robot. I can also change the conditions, if the price for example goes above a certain level. Let's imagine that I have options sold at strike 1950, and if the price goes above 1940, a delta hedge will be triggered. All futures prices will be ignored if they are less than 1940. I will not use this option now, because I want to demonstrate the delta hedger's full working cycle. 
All fields are filled in. The name of the bot is there. Now we need to click on the Add Bot button. My bot can now be seen in the list and I can start it. Let's do it. I click on the Start button, but the robot doesn't start because I don't have enough money. So I need to reduce the number of orders. In the Max Shares field, I'm going to select 3 or 5. Now the robot will buy futures and bring the delta to neutral value. This will reduce margin requirements. Now I run it and see that the trades have started. On the right side you can see orders and completed trades. Here's the delta, minus 1.13. I set max shares to 5 contracts and in the right panel you can see that it was buying 5 contracts at a time. I have my margin requirements reduced to 232. Now I suggest we look at the positions. Ether Futures, 32 contracts, the Delta Hedger bought. Right here you can see that Delta has become minus 1.41, holding in the minus 3 plus 3 range. Now I will open PL chart, and the resulting strategy resembles straddle with neutral Delta. Now Delta Hedger robot will act if there is any price movement. If the price goes down, it will sell futures and if the price goes up, the robot will buy them. There is also a bot restart box. If you want the bot to restart after the technical break at 9 UTC, you should check this box. Before that, the bot should be paused. Click on the apply change and start again. In this tab, you can set the start stop yourself. Stop, for example, at 8 before the technical break or 8.55 and start at 9.10. It does not matter at all whether you have sold or bought options. Delta Hedger robot will protect your options. A more in-depth analysis of the Delta Hedger and Delta Rehedger I will provide some other time. There are some nuances and details like Delta Hedging on your own volatility curves and the range of the Delta Hedging, that is, if the volatility of the futures increases, the Delta range should be widened, and if volatility falls, the Delta range should be narrowed. So be sure to try to run your robot by yourself. Practice with low values. I have given you the theory, but you should do the practice yourself. Subscribe to the channel if you like the video, leave a like, write in the comments your questions and suggest your own topics. I wish you successful options trading and goodbye.